friends and happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I decided to do another weekly vlog this week because why not? They're kind of fun to make and I like watching these videos myself so I figure why not do another one. So it is now, what is the time? 7.07. .07. So I washed my hair last night and it's literally, I don't know if you can tell, it's just a big frizz ball and I was going to leave it and just chuck it up in a bun but no, it's annoying me. I let it air dry and I shouldn't have. I should have blow dried it to make it not as frizzy so i'm gonna quickly go over it with the straightener luckily i got my hair done last week so it's like four inches shorter than what it was last week but yeah i have my wheat bix down here we have my computer down here so i can watch my show my first client this morning is at eight o'clock so this morning i have two pt clients i have a class then i have a meeting then i'm gonna train we're gonna be strategic again this week and i'm gonna do my quad day first because last week i started with quads and it was so good to get like the worst one out of the way my quad day i literally die and i struggle so much so we're gonna do that again today so yeah i'm gonna finish getting ready again i do not wake up the same way some of those other girls do um i am a hot mess in the morning give me five ten minutes and i'll be literally okay but let's finish fixing this mop and then we need to pop our shoes on and get out the door is it's like good but it's terrible because it makes me look so washed out and just mm. but i just got home from grocery shopping as you can tell so i thought i'd give you guys a little haul it's now 12 55 i actually got home way earlier than i thought i would i didn't expect to leave the gym until like one but i ended up getting my workout in a little bit early which you would have seen before literally died i honestly hate with a passion training quads just legs i'm not a big fan rough very very rough and i'm starving so i'm going to quickly give you a haul of what i got at the grocery store i don't know why i made that so awkward um some people like to see this some people i know don't but i'm just going to go through it anyway i just got a few things most of the stuff is for my partner um because i have my you foods and stuff like that and then i'm getting another delivery on saturday so i won't really need them also this is hard work holding up the camera anyways let's do a little haul and then i'm gonna unpack this or like pack it away and then i need to edit a vlog that's about to go up if it doesn't go up today it'll go up tomorrow so yeah let's just show you what i got so this is everything i got honestly it looks like a lot but all of this is like 150 bucks it's so expensive these days but we got another raisin toast because the raisin toast that we have i know he'll be out of in like two days some more honey this literally nearly seven dollars what but yeah i haven't bought honey in months and this i've been putting on my wheat bags so we've got a couple more apples because we already have heaps noodles he likes to eat noodles got some more of these like up and goes also yes we shop at aldi so um one it's 10 times cheaper but it's all like the knockoff brands i got some baked beans we got some more milk um another body wash some salad mixes to have with some dinners i've got some carrots because my calories are getting cut down 100 calories this week so carrots are like my lifesaver because they fill me up and they're very low calories some bananas some what is this ginger beer we got some more nutrigrain power grain knockoff i bought some pies i don't know i just figured it's just best to have something different and we never really have pies so i bought those then we have these chicken uh sensual breast things they're palma palmy style they taste really good just to have them like this with some potato and stuff we have some yogurt then i got my yopro these have higher protein in them and they are lower cows so i got these ones and then i have a heap of tuna and then some rice cakes andrew's protein bars we have his stuff for carbonara so we have this the bacon the mushrooms that type of stuff and then dog food and then a pizza because we always just keep a frozen pizza in the freezer and then i got these prosciutto wrapped chicken breasts they're actually really good and then some chicken for his carbonara and then he likes these sriracha chicken bite things so i got those as well so yeah that is everything that i got from the shops Okay, 
Okay, so I just got this package from Princess Polly. I did a little bit of a shopping spree <laughs> yesterday. I'm going to Europe in 10 weeks, actually, which I'm so excited. It's so close. But I thought I got... Thought I'd, guys. I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a haul of what I got. I am hoping to lose a little bit more weight before I go. So I'm hoping that this stuff fits. If not, I'll like send it back and get a bigger size. I find stuff looks better on the... My train of thought is gone. Um, stuff looks better on the models and then when I get it, I'm like, it just doesn't suit me. So if not, I'll send it back. But I'm trying to get some more like cute Europe outfits. I was going to die too. Love that. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd show you guys what I got. I also got a couple things from White Fox that will hopefully be here and then some other stuff from Shein. But I might do that as a separate video. Look out for that. But yeah, let's just dive into what I got. Okay, so I'm hoping my camera has charged enough now that we can kind of do a haul. I have to leave for work in like 30 minutes. So I'm going to go through everything, do a bit of a try on, show you what I got. Oh, it's all stuck. I'm trying not to rip the packaging in case I need to send it back. I'm like, oh, I didn't get that much, but it looks like I actually got more than I thought. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh, well. Treat yourself, right? Treat yourself. Oh, I don't even know what is what and everything is slippy. Oh, this is so cute. I got a little bag because I don't have any nice like little staple bags. Like I do, but I don't. And I want like, oh my gosh, I can't get open. A nice little like accessory bag to take with me to Europe. I got this bag. Just looks like this. A little like shoulder strap moment thing. It's fairly big actually. Like this is the size of my hand. It's quite long. Just has a nice strap and then this little like detailing on it with gold. So yeah, I just got that. Super cute. Okay, so I got a belt. This I'll try. I just said I wasn't going to rip stuff, but I feel like the belt will be fine. My belts are like fully disintegrating and I need them for my jeans. So I got this belt. My camera has been terrible at focusing lately, so I apologize. But yeah, it's just a simple black belt with a little buckle on it. Anyways, super simple, but I needed a new one because my ones that I have now are like falling apart. I got this, uh, I don't know what this is, like skirt and top set. It's like a longer skirt, so I don't know if it'll suit me. I have quite short legs and like I'm part of like the thick thigh girl club or whatever you want to call it. Like my thighs are pretty big, but I have an itty bitty waist. So I don't know how this is going to fit on me, but I got this like beige set. I'm going to try everything on, so I thought I'd just quickly show you. I got this, which I think is a dress. I don't know if it says on it. Yes, this is a mini dress. It's like a brown woven dress. And then I got this black top, which I'm super excited for. Because I am going to Europe in summer, so I got a few more summery pieces. That's quite heavy. I got this green, like, khaki denim skirt with, like, a really big, like, staple belt on it. So I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. I think I got this, yeah, in a 10. And I'm very hit between a size 10 and a size 12. So not really sure on sizing, but again, worst comes first, I'll send them back if I have to. And then I got a long sleeve crop top. I want to take a mixture of kind of like summer and some warmer clothes because even though it is summer when I go to Europe, um, I know I'm going to be a sook and as soon as it gets 20 degrees, I'm going to want to bundle up. So just to be safe and you can never go wrong with like a plain black or white or like gray staple top. So I got one of those. And then I got this like throw over flannel looking thing. It's quite a lot thicker than I thought, but I figured this would be nice to take and just add something different to outfits. I don't know. I was kind of just adding things. I had a lot in my car and I narrowed it down to this, so I'm very proud of myself. But yeah, let's try everything on and see how it fits. Okay, so this is the first top. Honestly, I don't love it. It has like wiring under here and I don't know if it's meant to be worn here or like off the shoulder. It has like wiring here too, so I think it's, or not wiring, it's like that sticky stuff to stay up. But I just feel as soon as I do this too, it's gonna, yeah, it doesn't stay. It is very cute, but I just, as soon as I do, like, I'm going to show everything. And it just, it, it's not overly comfortable. It is cute, but I think this one will probably get sent back. That's the only hard thing with, like, buying online is, like, you never know fully what it's going to look like and how it's going to fit. But on the model, it was cute. I don't know. It's not terrible looking on, but I just know I want to be comfortable. And as soon as I raise my arms a little bit, I feel like the little bit of titties that I do have... 
are going to pop out. So this one I think I'm going to send back. But this jacket or like throwover is super, super cute. So I'm going to try not to flash everyone. But yeah, this is super cute. It actually is a lot thicker than what I thought. And it is quite long. I'm quite short. I'm like 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, got a um, Oz slash UK 10, which is equivalent to a US 6. So it is quite oversized. This I probably could have gotten an 8. But sometimes that oversized look is cute. Also, before I forget, this skirt is very cute. It's very like mini mini. And uh, I got a big booty. So as soon as I bend over... Also, it only gets to about, I don't know if you can see, to about here on me, and then it doesn't get up any further. This I got in a 10, so sadly this will be going back. It is very cute though, and I do like the army green like denim, but this is a no-go. This is definitely not going to fit me. Even if I were to lose another 5 or 6 kilos, my butt and my thighs are just too big. It's not going to work. <laughs> Next top is this one. This one is super cute. I did get this one in a size 8. Again, I am part of the itty bitty titty committee. So this is the Oz 8, which is I think a US 6. Um, I do need to cut the tag off because it's like pulling it down. Adjustable straps, which is great because I'm definitely going to have to tie this tighter. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Super cute. It's just like a cute little crop top, but I can wear my high waist jeans. Maybe this like jacket with it. And yeah, it's super cute. Very open back so we can show off those gains. <laughs> yeah, I really like this one. Oh my gosh, this is hard to fit on. This is the dress. Completely different to like what I thought it was. I don't know. To me, I'm going to look in the mirror over here. Uh, I'm not a fan. It looks like, I just feel like I can literally see my belly button. It does not do justice for my curves. I'd scape out and uh, yeah. No, this is a no too, unfortunately. Let's try the set and then see how we go. But unfortunately, not really what we wanted. Hey, so this is the set. I don't know. I just feel like I have too much of like tum happening. I don't know. It's hard to like tell from the viewfinder. Also, I didn't know the shirt kind of went like this, which is cute. Is what it looks like. I love the top. The top is super cute. I just don't know. I do not look like the girls in the pictures. Obviously, I have a bit bigger hips and stuff like that. I don't know. It has this slit, which I don't know. I feel like it needs to come around more. But, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the front, like, if I stand, if I don't have good posture, it just... Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, not what I was hoping for. That is okay. We live and we learn. It's hard to buy online and the girls in the photos, that's what I don't like about certain companies. Not just like Princess Polly, but like there's multiple. They don't have anyone with like a bit of curve. Some of them do, some of them don't, but like not with the outfits on. I'm like, they need a smaller girl and then a bigger girl or like someone with a bit more curves because it's hard to kind of tell. Yeah, it's like, it's definitely not terrible, but I just don't feel overly comfortable comfortable confident and comfortable in it so i think the best thing for me to do over the next couple of weeks is probably just go shopping in store so that way i can try things on um we're gonna try the stuff from white fox when it comes in a few days but i don't think i'm gonna have much luck with that either it was worth a shot now i have i feel like i'm out of breath because i just rushed i've got like 10 minutes to somewhat tidy this mess up get to work and then I'll probably just update you guys later in the week because it's gonna be one of those weeks again. Hello guys, happy, what's today, Friday? Just kind of update you. So I just got home from work and I did a little workout with my sister and we just did a bit of like upper body, bit of random shit to be honest. I don't know if I heat the sauce up. Nah, probably not. So yeah, we just did like a random upper body workout. Um, Unfortunately, I'm not feeling 100%, you know, that time of the month. And I just feel a bit ugh. So we're cooking some sweet potato fries to make me feel better. I'm going to track them still. Just means my calories might be a little over. We're also going to have this charred grilled, charged, hard? Charred grilled chicken with chipotle, mayo, you foods thing. I'm so hungry today. I woke up hungry. Like I'm definitely feeling my decrease in calories this week. But it's fine. I'm like four and a half kilos down. So honestly, I know should be really good in my death set. But honestly, I'm better to have these. I was so tempted to go to Hungry Jack's and just buy the biggest, fattest burger in the world. But I'm not. We have food here. We're saving money. 
We're just going to cook some of these so we can portion them. But it'll make me feel a little bit better. And I'm going to do some work. I'm probably just going to like get ready and like lay in bed. Put my jammies on or put something comfy on. Some sweatpants. And literally just lay down and do stuff. Maybe start editing some videos earlier. So that they're ready to go for the next couple of weeks. And then next week what I plan to do today. Like film another video with my sister. And uh, a few other things. We will do... Um, later next week so like film some content for my instagram and um instagram reels tiktok all of that stuff because i'm trying to get better at social media and just be more consistent in general not only for my business but just for life i don't know okay so i've just had a package arrive i I was about to say, I have no idea what this is. It's my my protein stuff. They were having a, a big sale. I think it was like 40% off or something. And I needed to buy some more creatine. Oh, I needed to buy some more creatine. And um, Andrew's shaker bottle broke. Mine I left at work. So we have no shaker bottles. So I got a couple shaker bottles. I also got some of those protein wafer things. Also, look at my hair. Like, what is this? Anyways, I was trying to figure out because I got a text saying something arrived and I didn't see it until literally. Okay, so. Little haul of what I got. I love these things too, by the way. I just like. Oh, I was waiting for it to. What did we get? We got some, this is way smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it says 83 servings. So this, I think last time I got like the one that was twice the size and I've only just finished it and I bought it like over a year ago, but we got some creatine, just unflavored because we don't really need flavor. I got a big shaker for Andrew because he prefers the bigger ones. And then I got a smaller shaker for me. I just prefer smaller shakers. And then we got two different boxes of the wafers. Because of the um, because of the discount they were having, it made the boxes like $20 each. Just over $20 each. Something like that. But I got the vanilla flavored ones. So they just look like that. And then I got the, what is this? Cookies and cream? Cookies and cream ones. They just look like that. So I'm excited to try those. And then I also bought two sample ones. Because I didn't want to buy the full... Um, I don't know what you call it. Like buy like 10, a box of them. That's where I was going with that. I didn't want to buy a box of them in case I didn't like them. Because I find protein brownies and cookies and stuff. Sometimes they can taste like really strong of protein. And they just taste like gross. So I got this white chocolate chip protein brownie. And then I just got a regular like chocolate chip on there. I also have a package to go and pick up later, which is my stuff from White Fox. So I'm going to pick that up in a few hours. I just want to get some work done and try and be a little bit productive, but we will see. So I've done my washing, just went to the post office, picked up my uh, White Fox stuff. I probably looked a little crazy because I'm wearing this like massive oversized shirt and then baggy sweatpants and I have I just keep calling them sweatpants I know I live in Australia but I don't know I just picked it up when I was living in America and I feel like that's all I call them now and then I have like my makeup done from this morning so I feel like I look a bit funny anyways um <laughs> I don't know why I needed to ramble on about that picked up my white fox stuff we're gonna try it on cramps are hitting a little bit this afternoon which is not fun up to what do you call it to my brain is not gonna work to return for Princess Polly was super easy. You just go online and like put in, obviously it has your order number so it knows what you've ordered and then you just go through and select like what stuff you want to return and then um, they give you a shipping label and everything and my printer is out of ink. Well it's not, it's out of yellow ink so it won't even print black and white which I don't understand. I find it really really stupid. You don't need yellow ink to print black and white but anyway so they were able to print the shipping label to return that and everything so i should get a good like nearly 200 dollars back because stuff from there is not the cheapest and i pretty much sent back everything just about i kept the belt the bag and the what did i keep the belt the bag and the little black top the jacket thing I don't know how to explain that. I ended up just sending that back. I just found it was too itchy. I didn't like the material. Okay, so we got this cute little bag that it comes with, which is nice. 
And then, like I said, I only got two things. So I got a midi dress. I think that's what it's called. Star Power mini dress. I got that in a small. And I thought I got it in a medium. So I don't know how we're going to go. And then I got the No Worth Cargo Pants. And I got them in charcoal. So they're kind of like a dark grey colour. But yeah, let's try them on. Let's hope we have better luck with the white box stuff. These I got... The pants I got in a medium. The dress I got in a small. I've never really had a pair of cargo pants. These... Oh... Oh, I like these. They're actually quite thin, but they're a lot like wider leg than I was expecting. So hopefully they fit all right. So let's try them on. Ignore the little bit of mess that's down here. Unfortunately, I don't know if you can tell the camera, they, they're a little snug. I also don't know what this <laughs> random little piece here is, if you can see it. They do up and everything and they're fine. And really, if anything, there's like a bit of room, but like... If you look, I don't know how to show you like properly, but they're quite tight on my butt. Super cute though. I just wish they fit like a bit better. Okay, we'll try and ignore the shit show that's going on in the background here. But I actually don't mind. It is quite tight up here. But sometimes you just got to wear something in once. I actually don't mind this at all. I kind of like when things are a little bit tighter. This again, like I said, is a small. I held it up and I was like, mm, it literally looks like this big. Does have a bit of stretch in it, but I kind of like it being that little bit tighter because I think it just like, and hopefully before I go to Europe anyways, I'll be down another three or four kilos. That is my goal. But I actually, I don't mind it. I'll show you guys in the mirror, but I kind of do wish that I got a medium, maybe not a small, but this is what it looks like. So super, super cute. I really don't mind it at all. Makes the booty look good. Obviously I'm always gonna have this little bit here. I do know that. Um, but if I've got like a little jacket and stuff, I really actually don't mind it. It is a little bit huggy through here, but like I said, we've got another four or five kilos to go hopefully in the next nine to 10 weeks. So, but yeah, that's what the back looks like. I actually don't mind it at all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But I actually like this one. Like sometimes it just like hugs everything in a little bit more if it is a little bit tighter. I definitely will be going shopping if you guys want me to do a little vlog and a haul. Um, because I definitely do need more stuff when I go to Europe. And it is nine weeks away. So I need to get my shit together. But I definitely need more summery, Europey clothes i don't know if that's the right word to use but i just feel like i don't have a lot of summer clothes or like cute little staple dresses like this so yeah woohoo